And the reason this is the best one is because it's really easy to set up. Unlike other methods, it will give you full control of where you want to place your hole and you can also scale your hole into any direction that you want. And with this super easy setup, you can also duplicate your hole, create multiple different holes and you can also make your hole into whatever shape that you want. So if you want your hole to be shaped like a star or any other shape, you can do that. And if you can like and subscribe, I would really appreciate that. And now, let's get into it. Okay, so let's just go A and X and delete everything from our scene. And now we can go Shift A and bring in a plane. Just gonna zoom in a bit and go to top view by clicking seven. And here we want to go into edit mode, so hit tab. And the first thing that you need to be aware of here is that we need some more geometry to be able to create a hole inside of this mesh. So let's just right click onto it and go subdivide. So now we can go down to this little box here to the left and we can set the number of cuts to 10. And then we also want to right click onto our mesh here and then go subdivide, right click one more time and go subdivide again. So now we can just go E for extrude and bring it up a bit and then go back into object mode. So next step here is to bring in our second object. And keep in mind, you can do this with any kind of shape. So we're just gonna use the cylinder here and we're gonna set the vertice count to 64 because we want the circle to be nice and smooth. And we're just gonna keep it here in the middle for now. And then we're gonna select the plane and then go to the modifier properties here and go add modifier and then go to generate and we're going to use the boolean modifier so generate and boolean and here we can just use the eyedropper tool and select our cylinder like that so to be able to apply this hole onto the mesh all we need to do is just go and apply it here at the modifier section and then we're going to need to x away our cylinder and there we go. So now we have our first hole. But I want to show you a couple of more techniques when it comes to this uh, method. So let's go a couple of steps back here. And I'm just gonna select this cylinder again. And also want to make sure that this boolean here is connected to the cylinder. So now what we can do is click on the cylinder and then go into edit mode. And here we want to change this mode here up to the right from solid mode into wire mode. So this is just a way better view to see what's going on. And now we can just scale in our hole. We can uh, duplicate it like that. We can um, scale it on different axes. We can also rotate it around any shape that we want so let's make a, a clown here and uh, go back into object mode and we're going to change a mode here again from wireframe mode back into solid mode and all we need to do to apply this uh, a clown or these holes is just to go to the plane and then go back into the modifier and then just go apply so now we can just x away these cylinders like that. So the next thing I want to show you when using this method here is how you can use it to create holes in a row. So say that you want to have multiple holes going down all over this uh, planer. So this is also really easy to do. So we can just move a cylinder up to the corner here. And then we're gonna go add modifier and we're gonna use the array modifier. And a nice little tip here is to hold on shift. This, that will give you more control when it comes to playing around with these values here. And we can also bring up the count. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit this little drop down icon here and go duplicate. And then we want to go down to relative offset and we want to set this factor of x to zero because we are going to use 
the y direction and we're going to set this y to minus 1.2 something and now we can also just place it wherever we want and you can make this more uh, correct if you just play a little bit more around with these values and you can also just of course just bring in the scale like that and just keep adding counts like this so now if you want to apply this it's just uh, the exact same technique and just make sure that these cylinders here just go all the way through the mesh like this so let's just apply these array modifiers and then we're gonna select the plane and we can see that we already have um, a bridge between this modifier and these uh, cylinders so all we need to do now is just apply this modifier and then go and x away these cylinders so there we go so not the, the most um, uh, geometry um, best way of doing this but anyway okay so the last thing that i want to show you here is how you can create this super simple star so to do that the exact same technique so we're just going to use a cube this time i'm just going to scale it in and now we're just going to connect the cube to this plane like that we're going to select our cube go into edit mode and then make sure that you change your mode here if you want to see what's going on to wireframe mode and um, what you need to do now is just right click onto the cube and go subdivide and then we're going to box select first we're going to deselect everything so just deselect everything by going all day and now we can just box select these vertices and then we can go s and scale like that maybe let me see here yeah so this didn't this is a nice tip for you here because you can see that this didn't go all the way through so we actually also need to turn on x-ray mode so go alt and c and we need to do that again so let's select these vertices here and then just go scale so now we can go back into uh, ob object mode change this mode to solid mode it's a lot of modes here i know but uh, you will get used to that in a while and um, so now just select a plane and then just apply it and then x away or star so there we go so if you can like and subscribe i would really appreciate that have a great day wherever you are and peace out